Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, back for another episode of High School Possession. And some of you did seem interested in seeing some more episodes of this, so for now, we'll go ahead and continue. But, I don't want to alienate the people who have been subscribed to me for a long time. Um, as most, as some of you may know, uh, a lot of what I usually do is like unboxings and manga reviews. So I don't want to just spam everyone's inboxes with these visual novels, even though I would like to incorporate them slowly into my channel, but I don't want to do too much at once. So basically what I want to do is, maybe I'm just going to make these a little bit longer, more like 30-35 minutes, so the people who do want to see it can go ahead and watch it and enjoy it, but there won't be quite as many episodes that I have to do. But anyway, uh, without getting into all that stuff, let's go ahead and start the video. What was it about sitting in a desk that can be so absolutely exhausting? I'm so tired. I wasn't even that stressed out by classes. Really, I can't stop thinking about Akiko and Kasumi. I can't help but feel that there's more to it, that maybe they feel differently toward me than they're letting on. Akiko has always been friendly, but it's diff it's, but it's been but it's felt different lately. Kasumi's a little too quiet to get a read on, but I think she cares about me. She might keep she might be open to suggestions. But even if they were interested, I'd have to get the courage to ask one of them out. And why would either of them actually be interested in someone like me? It must, be, it must, I must really be coming down, <clears throat> down with something if I'm even considering this. They're, per they're perfect and I'm, well, I'm not exactly getting any invitations from the perfect people club. This is just stupidity talking. Even if they felt that way, what happens if that's how bo they both feel? I wouldn't want to hurt either of them. I'd have to make a choice between them before I could even ask one of them out. That's just as difficult as digging up the courage to ask. They're both so different. I'm really wearing myself down with this kind of thing. I feel like I'm going to be lucky. I feel like I'm going to be lucky to make it home at this point. I think if I'd stayed in the pool and swam the rest of the day, I would have. I wouldn't be this tired. Not to mention, my head is killing me. Everything seemed to go so right today. So the reason for this stupid headache is beyond me. I really hope I'm not coming down with something. With exams so close, I can't afford to miss any school time now. These, the sick days I have saved up aren't going to help help me in, lear in learning what I missed. Not to mention that I have homework tonight. But I don't think I could stand to look at the paper. It would make me feel worse just to try. I just want to get home. Finally, I'm going. I'm just going to collapse. Hikaru, <clears throat> Hikaru, are you here? I'm in my room. <clears throat> What's his mom sound like? You want something to eat? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm tired. I'm just going to lay down for a while. Alright. Alright, mate. Let me know if you're hungry. I can't think about food. I just can't think about anything with this headache drilling into my temple. It feels like someone is trying to jaw into my, saw into my skull. Who knows what they'll be looking for. Hopefully it'll be gone, but gone in the morning. Morning? Uh, why do I feel so weird? How long was I out? Oh, right. I had a headache yesterday. Did I sleep through the whole afternoon? I must must still be affecting me. Even my balance is off. I must have slept funny yesterday or something. But at least the headache is gone. I might even be able to make it to school. Ow! If I make it into my bathroom without giving myself a concussion, where's the light switch? Why does everything feel out of place? Uh, hello? <laughs> that's, that's an angle and a half! <coughs> Akiko? Wait, what? My voice! Is that my reflection? I'm not gonna do her voice when I'm him, because that's just gonna get confusing. She moves when I move, blinks when I blink! <laughs> that face. If I touch my face, she touches hers. And my hair, it's... I, I don't I don't understand. Why do I look like a Kiko standing in her nightwear? This doesn't make any sense. I'm Hikaru. I'm a guy. This this must be some hallucination or or the headache I had. Of course. I didn't sleep the whole night. The the whole afternoon I'm dreaming. I can I can touch things though. It feels like I can feel a Kiko's skin beneath my hands. And I don't know if I can be aware of dreaming and still dream. It must be a lucid dream, then. I've never had one. 
but I've heard of things. These things feel real. This would look and feel very real if it wasn't for my reflection looking the way it does. It's not all that odd that I've been dreaming about Okiko, though. Honestly, it's not the first time this happened. I just wasn't from this perspective. I wonder how this dream really is. How I wonder how good this dream really is. How realistic. Maybe I should play around a little and see what it's like. Ah. Ha. Wow. That felt... Oh, so I'm assuming I skipped something because this is not the adult patch. For just a few seconds, I couldn't even see. Everything went white. My thighs are shaking from it. Did, did you... <laughs> you really just whacked off and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. That escalated rather quickly. It was like a genuine orgasm from Akiko's body. <laughs> Is it possible my brain just invented what it would feel like? How would it know something like that? I guess things do usually just make sense make sense in dreams, even when they wouldn't otherwise. <laughs> so obviously, uh, you guys, there is going to be a Steam um, adult patch later on, or you can just buy it on Manga Gamer right now. My, <clears throat> my toes and the bottom of my feet even went numb. Not to mention my fingers are drenched. Oh wow, specific. It might be, it might be a dream, but I'm still, I'm still compelled to wash my hands. I really thought I would wake up before I got to finish. That's how dreams, that's how dreams usually seem to treat me anyway. I never get to go all the way. We're still going on this topic. <laughs> Maybe I'm still in the dream because it's a lucid dream, and I don't know what, I don't want to wake up. When, <clears throat> well. I think I've done enough to Akiko's body. I really want to remember this dream, but I'm still going to have to look at her tomorrow. I just put her clothes back on, I guess. No wonder I couldn't find anything while stumbling around in the dark. It's so completely different from my bedroom. Are dreams really this interactive? What time is it? She had her alarm set pretty early, but I, but I wasted a lot of time in there. I guess I should just get along with the dream and see what happens. Besides, being in Akiko's body, nothing else really looks too strange. But I guess this can't be real. If it was, I wouldn't <clears throat> I wouldn't want um I wouldn't want to make Akiko miss school either. She's a really di diligent student. That's kind of a dumb thing to do, actually forcing myself to go to school in this dream. I'm even disappointing myself. Still, this does feel right. Hello? I don't hear anyone else in the house. <clears throat> oh my throat, I used to need a bit of a drink right now. Oh boy, this could get interesting. I forgot this game had body swapping. Oh, that is much better. <clears throat> Maybe I should check it out. I think I clicked by accident. That's really odd. It doesn't seem like anyone else lives here with Akiko, but she never, but she never mentioned living alone. It's a dream, right, mate? <laughs> I don't know why my dream, why my dream, wouldn't <clears throat> wouldn't give her parents. But then again, I've never seen them. The second bathroom doesn't doesn't look used either. I keep thinking in terms of a dream, but it's starting to feel less and less like that. It's <clears throat> I'll just get dressed and go about Akiko's day like normal, since I'm curious about what will happen anyway. I wonder where she keeps her clothes. Oh, this is this looks like what she'd wear. And over here, I guess I don't really have a choice but to go through her underwear. Uh, I can add, I can add trying to put on a bra to the list of things I've attempted. How does she fit these things in here? I, I shouldn't look in the mirror. It'll just make it worse. Why does this bra make me hyper aware of Akiko's breasts? I push them up and out. And I'm just constantly feeling them. I'm sure girls are perfectly used to it, but this is a this is a Kiko's we're talking about. Even if I do look like I'm in her body, the sensations themselves are enough to get, to get me going again. All the squirming or squirming around and jiggling is starting to make to make me excited again, and I just and I just took care of that. I guess some things don't change, regardless of what kind of dream you're having. If I'm going to put on clean panties, I better take care of care of this first and wipe off. They say girls can recover from an orgasm a lot faster than guys, so I guess my believing that caused it to happen. I can't keep thinking about this. I have to focus and go to school. This is... This is strange, guys. This is... Per... 
profoundly strange. I'm just going to throw that out there. Continuing on. <laughs> so, is she going to be in our body? Or is our body just going to be there, like, going through the routine? That's the real question. Because obviously, it's not a dream. It's a good thing I was at least a little familiar with Akiko's part of town. I probably would have been late otherwise. So far, besides being in a completely wrong body, nothing has seemed too out of the ordinary. I thought it might be interesting to live my life as a Kiko for for a day and follow her routine as much as possible. But but really I'm just starting to doubt that this that this isn't real, even though it can't be. I think I know Akiko's basic class schedule. I'll follow it as much as I know how, just in case. These courses are really advanced. They're not too different from mine, but they seem to be a lot seem to be at a different place. It's not a huge disadvantage, but still, it's not something that easy to pick up on. All the upper level maths and science courses are really testing me. I shouldn't be surprised. Of course Akika would be brilliant and excel in academics, but I can't help but feel someone will call me out. At least we didn't have any kind of test today that that I might have failed. I even found some homework pages pressed in between the pages of my t t in her textbook back in her backpack. They were already completed and I turned them in for her. All in all, things have gone pretty well so far. I've already gotten in the habit of responding when Akiko's name gets called on, on roll. And I learned how many times you can silently plead not to be call, called on in an hour and 20 minutes. Luck has been on my side. The, teacher se the teachers seem to pick most often on the students who they expect to struggle, struggle with the answer and need extra help. Akiko must be very studious, she, she, since she doesn't get that kind of extra attention. Finally, lunch is my favorite is my favorite time of the day, regardless of what of what my body of what body I'm inhabiting. As long as this bo body has taste buds, I. Why, wow, oops! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run into. Kasumi? Wait, what's happening? Why is she hugging me? Ah! Ouch! Ouch! So this is. Sumi speaking, this... okay. Akiko, what's the matter? Did I hurt you somehow? I... I didn't think I hugged you that hard. S sorry, I... it wasn't anything. <clears throat> it was obviously something. Yeah, but I didn't know what. Pull back your... pull back your sleeve and let me see. Akiko, look at this cut. How did this... how'd you get this? Oh, interesting twist. I like it. Let's see. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, it's really interesting, actually. Say nothing. What am I supposed to tell her? I don't know. How Akiko might have gotten this cut, but wouldn't that be weird? It's pretty painful now, and it doesn't and it doesn't even look recent. I don't think she could have missed I don't think she could have missed I don't think she could have missed when this happened to her. Akiko? Are are you hiding this from me? Do you not want to tell me? She would literally think I was crazy if I told her the truth. I have to come up with something. No, I was just trying to remember when it happened. You... you mean you don't remember? I... um... I'm just not used to being clumsy. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh. Ah, uh, I don't think that convinced her at all. Why is it so difficult to lie to her? Surely you can tell me. It wouldn't... I wouldn't make fun of you or anything. Are they really good friends? They must be, if Kasumi was willing to run up and hug her. Whenever I see her, she's always so shy, it's hard to hear her talk. I was doing something silly, it really it's really not that bad. It wasn't bleeding before, so I thought it was fine. Well, will you at least <coughs> will you at least let me go with you to the nurse? It's still bleeding a bit, I think you need a bandage. The nurse? Uh, okay, sure. That's probably a good idea. Here, the nurse gave gave me gave me these bandages to put on to put on it. They should cover the cut. 
You know, if you cut your cut yourself, you should bandage it properly as soon as you can. Otherwise, it'll get infected. I hope you can. <clears throat> I hope you didn't think I'm being mean, Akiko. It's just, well, you seem a little out of it. Are you okay? I'm fine, really. <clears throat> I just don't. I just don't like the sense, the sight of blood. I guess it. Gave, I guess it has made me a little distracted. Really? I can't. <clears throat> I just can't make make up things about Akiko in front of her friends and expect them to believe me. They would know better than I do. This is such a mess. I think that must be it. I wish we had some classes together. Then I could at least keep an eye on you. You won't faint, will you? That would be awful. No, I don't think I'm going to faint. I just... <laughs> I think I'm going to give like all the teachers and like parents the same Excuse me, Akiko. Oh, right. She's talking to me. Yes? I couldn't help but overhear some of that. Perhaps it would be best if you took the day off to recuperate a bit. The school is almost over, and you wouldn't miss too much, I think. It's better to go home and make a decent recovery, than to exhaust yourself. If, if you do that... You can be tired for much longer, and it would be significantly impact your studies. I... I can't do... I... I think the nurse is right. You should probably go home for the rest of the day. Agree. We agree with that. I'm starting to think that would be a good idea, too. Maybe we can run into ourself there. Maybe I should... Maybe I should have come here in the first place. Well, alright. Oh? What? Really? You, you'll go home and rest? Uh... <laughs> uh... Yes? Y yes? Oh, wh why are you so surprised by that? I know how dedicated you can be to your grades. I thought I might have to try and convince you or beg. I don't mean I don't mean to say it's a bad thing. I just didn't expect you to put your health first. I'm glad you are though, if that makes sense. No, I understand. I think it would be best for me for me and my grades if I took the rest of the day off so I don't have to worry. I'm looking after myself. All right. Good. Thank you, Akiko. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Akiko isn't really the type to miss school, I know that much, but given the circumstances, I think this deserves an, ex an exception. Don't worry too much, don't, don't worry too much, Kasumi. I'm sure I'll be back to my old self tomorrow. At least, I really, really, really hope so. I'll see you then. Take care. I nearly caught myself walking back to my house. It took me almost an hour to find her house again. This is so confusing. Why is it happening? It's starting to make it's starting to feel more like a dream than it did before. Except now I don't now I don't think it is. What if I can't get out of Akiko's body? What if I'm actually actually still Hikaru and I'm and I've gone insane? There has to be some kind of explanation, but whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm going <clears throat> I'm just going to make myself something to eat and try to calm down, like the nurse said. <sighs> Oh, her phone was in her backpack. Maybe it's Kasumi checking to, checking to see how she is. Arada? Who's that? Text message, Arada. Are you busy? I don't recognize the name. I should probably text back yes. But if this is real, they don't want to ruin Akiko's social life. Should I try and do things that Aki Akiko would actually do? And it looks like she texts him a lot. Text message. No, not busy. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. I managed to finish up a small lunch, and that Arata guy never did text back. It's fine by me. Hopefully Akiko wasn't supposed to meet him somewhere. I keep telling myself it's probably not what it seems, but what if it is? What if she already has someone she cares about? Is this Akiko? This is Akiko after all, and it's not unlikely. Plenty of guys would be interested in her. Even if I'm jealous, I shouldn't I shouldn't interfere. 
I just need to get to get through this and play along. Though, <clears throat> thought, though the right thing never does seem to be the easy thing. Is someone? Oh shit! Who is he? Did he just let himself in? Okay, don't panic. Hey. <clears throat> oh, we need to voice for him now. This sounds casual enough. Hey. <clears throat> um. Wow, I didn't expect to actually be able to do a, a different guy voice. I, I'm kind of surprised. <clears throat> what? Why do you look so weirded out? Uh, weirded out? I'm not sure what you mean. All right, whatever. Shall we get downstairs? Oh, okay. Come sit. Come sit with me. Maybe they usually just hang out in the living room like this? What do I say to him? I have no idea what these two have in common. I don't even know what their relationship is. You're being quiet. No, I'm just here. Where is he putting my hand? Why is he making him rub him there? Well, go on. You know what to do. This absolutely can't be happening. I was worrying about what would happen if I had to kiss him. This is a hundred times worse. If he hadn't been holding my wrist so tight, I would have pull, pulled away on instinct. What do I do? Akiko, seriously, what's the matter with you? I thought you liked this. You know, I was planning for more, but you seem so out of it. I guess I'll just... I guess... I guess just this will do. I hope you're feeling good. Well? Um... Yeah? Why would you say yeah? What the f... Uh, this is... Guys, when I said before this is all kind of messed up, this is a bit weird to me. I'm really going to put that out there right now. I'm a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, well, since you're still being a little weird, I'm, go I'm going to head off. Thanks. So, my question is, in the adult version... Did I... Uh, he's just going to leave just like that? No, don't kiss me. Wait. Mm -hmm. It's just a peck on the cheek. Don't look so weirded out. I hope you're feeling better next time I come around. See you. Now he's just gone? I mean, I'm glad, but I'm also pissed. What kind of jerk just shows up to... Well, what, what, what do I know? Akiko could have had any kind of relationship with that guy. I just... I didn't expect her to end up with someone like that. I wanted to understand what the hell just happened. There must be something in here that'll give me some kind of idea. Here we go. This kind of looks like a diary. It is. I don't want to invade her privacy, but... Maybe I'll just skim until I see Arata's name. Here he is. This, this entry's recent, too. Arata came by again today. And again, I didn't turn him down, despite what I kept telling myself. I don't know why I can't bring myself to say no to him, even though he doesn't even try to hide it. He's completely disinterested in me. We don't even talk anymore. Like, we're just, like, we, like, we've run out of things to say. The fact that, the fact that I like someone else, and then Arata doesn't bring me any happiness doesn't seem to matter. Saying no sounds so easy, so why can't I do it? Why does it feel like it would it would take monumental effort? It's like a one it's like a little one syllable word word weighs me so so much. I just can't bring myself to lift it off my tongue. He doesn't make me happy, but at this point, I wonder if anything I wonder if anything will will ever again. Maybe I just don't care after all, but writing about this isn't re isn't revealing anything new to me. It just makes me feel worse about it. She just stopped there. I don't understand. She doesn't even like Arata. Why would she, why is she why is she putting up with him? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It sent completely the wrong message. Ugh, I feel gross. I, I to think that I could have gotten gotten out of it and not had to do it if I just realized. Maybe I just fell asleep, everything would be right again in the morning. Right now, that's my only plan. Hmm, what? Oh, thank goodness. My mom must be trying to wake me up since I slept past my alarm. 
What a weird dream. <laughs> you better wake up, sis! I'm leaving, so if you sleep in, you're on your own. Bye! Sis? Light? Where's the light? Where the hell is this? This isn't Arata's bedroom or my bedroom. Okay, the mirror's in here. Oh my gosh. Now I look like Kasumi. What's going on? First Arata, now Kasumi? Maybe I'm still in a dream, but everything seems so real and completely- and I'm com feel completely awake now. What does- what does this mean? We are in a very position again. I don't know what to do. Do I just go along with it, like I did yesterday? Okay, if you figured out it's not a dream, are you seriously just gonna jack off in someone's body again? It's not- it's not like I can tell someone. The worst thing I can do is panic, I know that. Ugh, great. I guess that I'm stuck in this body for now. Not that, not that it's a bad body to be stuck in, really, considering. Th this is what Katsumi dresses into sleep? It's cute. Oh, that face is adorable. See, she show she show. Sh she show oh. She's so shy. I thought she might dress a little more modestly at home. What am I saying? I didn't expect any of this. But still, I thought Akiko was hard to deal with, but looking at Kasumi like this too. If this is real, there's no way I can I can get out <clears throat> I can go out about my day feeling like this. This is going to happen every day I wake up now. Why is Kasumi so pretty? Oh, oh to hell with it. <laughs> I have to take care of this feeling or I'm going to go insane. <sighs> what? I feel like once you found out it was a dream, you know the nice thing to do? Okay. Again, I wish it would give me a choice to just immediately like jack it. I've never felt anything like that. I couldn't even see properly. When did I end up on the floor? Kasumi's thighs... Thighs are even slick. <laughs> uh, that was enough to give me another sh shudder. I need to get myself cleaned up. Well, do, do, I mean, do you not like think that someone might walk? Um, whatever. <laughs> well, maybe just one more before I leave. You're kidding, right? All right. I'm starting to hate the main character a little bit because I think he's disgusting. <laughs> I'm surprised I had enough strength left to even get dressed. I really wore myself out, but at the same time, I feel amazing. It's the best kind of relief. Putting clothes on wasn't as hard as this wasn't as hard this time either. Not like it was with Akiko. I gotta get out of here, though I can't afford to think about that anymore. It's so bright out. I know I'm beyond late for school. <sighs> this game's getting really weird. It'll be even worse. <clears throat> It'll be even worse if I hadn't hadn't found that lunch already packed. But it, <clears throat> but it is waiting for me on the counter. I guess, I guess Kasumi's sisters left a packed lunch out for her. I'd forgotten Kasumi was, pra was practically raised by her older sister after their parents died. It was a long time ago, and she doesn't really talk about it all that much, but I've seen her sister before. She, she comes to a lot of our school swimming competitions to cheer Kasumi on, so I think they're close. At least I have a little familiar familiarity with her life, but still. I don't know how how I'll interact with her sister, but I can worry about that once I'm home. I'm still I'm still late. In fact, I think lunchtime. What? How are you this late? I don't think it takes that long. How did I manage to waste that much time on well, me time? Is it really still me time, or is it someone else's me time? Oh well, I can't <clears throat> I can't afford to I can't afford do to do I can't I can't do it over so I guess I just have to live with it I'll just head straight to the lunchroom and then Kasumi's and then Kasumi's afternoon classes at least I can do that much for her and maybe I'll get I'll get a chance to see a Kiko and see if anything is odd ow what the hell Rika she's on the swim team with us but why did she shove me to the ground there's no way that was an accident. Oh, is <clears throat> is that a little anger in your eyes? You look feisty today. 
What's this, hmm? Did you bring me your present? What is she talking about? Why did she take my lunch? Um, go ahead and do a quick... S s oh, go ahead and do a... Stop it! Do a quick savesy doodle. Just because we can. Uh, this one's really interesting. If you fight back, it could just get worse for her. So I'm just going to do nothing for now. Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that at that time. I don't know what's happening. And I don't want to get Kasumi hurt. I just better play along and keep my head down. No comment, hmm? You're pathic. You just let me do anything I want to you, wouldn't you? I... I don't know. Would, it, would Kasumi actually let this go on? Rika seems so confident. As if this might actually be usual for her. It's amazing how you can swim without a spine, you know? Oh, bat those big doe eyes at me all you want. Just make yourself look like an idiot. But if you're asking for it, here, let's see let's see what you'll let me do to you. Rika, what? No, let me go. Rika, let go of me. It's all in good fun, right, Kasumi? <laughs> if she doesn't let go of my uniform, she'll whoops. <clears throat> Wow, what a bitch. Look how easily it ripped open. How cheap's that uniform, hmm? Could you afford those those grungy second half ones from the school? Or did your ugly sister make that for you? This this isn't decent. Rika ripped Rika ripped this top right off down my front. I can't have Kasumi run around like this. Scruffer beggar. Anyway, thanks for the gift. I'll be sure to put it to good use. I'll see you around. Oh, and by the way, Kasumi, nice bra. What? What the hell just happened? Why did Rika literally attack me? If I... It wasn't too... It wasn't too familiar to be the first time event. No, this must be something that happens a lot. But how did I not know this? I never thought anything like this would happen to Kasumi and never said anything to suggest it. I don't even I don't even know she and Rika were on bad terms. We're all on the swim team. Surely Kasumi could have confided in me. But I don't know what else to explain what just happened. For Kasumi's sake, and maybe mine's, I need to try and avoid Rika as much as possible. And the shirt, what am I gonna do about this? It's showing a bra and everything. There's no way I can fix it. Oh great. Wait, Kasumi has 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 a locker in the gym. I bet she keeps an extra set of clothes in there. I might just be a spare gym outfit, but it'll be better than walking around with this bra showing. I'll have to hurry before lunch lets out and all the hallways get busy. It's a good thing she she has swimming right before lunch. I found I found her swimsuit in her locker. She keeps some casual clothes in there too, so at least I can I can sneak that on afterwards. Rika should be here any minute now. I'll just try and take it away. Easy, easiest way to do that is get in the water. Good. I'm glad we both have swimming. S something familiar that I can that can understand fully. It's nice to be reunited with the water, but it is a little different. Not necessarily not necessarily in a bad way, though. I never thought about how it would work work to f to swim in another body. Obviously, who would think of something like that? But Kasumi feels so athletic and graceful. She practically glides through the water. I guess my body is too bulky compared to hers, so the water feels different, less restricting. Even with an extra burst of speed though, I'm not doing as good as I probably could. I can't stop thinking about Rika, not to mention trying to avoid her. I don't want to get paired up and have to race against her. Is, Kasumi's, is Kasumi always worrying about these kinds of things? Would she be doing better in the rankings if it wasn't for Rika? What happened between them anyway? <clears throat> Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen Kasumi beat Rika in a race. But I don't but I know she's beaten people just as fast as Rika though. Her times are usually better, so it doesn't make sense unless she's losing on purpose. And after the way she treated me this morning, I don't know if I'd blame her. Uh, I better focus up. It's already almost my turn. I'm glad Kasumi has some casual clothes in her locker. But I can't stay here with this on, it violates the dress code. I, d I don't want to make Kasumi miss class, though. Should I go home or stay in class? I don't know. I'm gonna go home. 
I'll just get back to Kasumi's house, I guess. That's where that's where they would send me anyway to change. Hopefully no one will notice I'm leaving without a uniform. <clears throat> How was her voice? It's been a long time since I actually had to do her voice. Kasumi? <clears throat> Why? So... So she's back in her body. This doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Why... <clears throat> Why aren't you wearing your school uniform? Oh no. Akiko, does she remember what happened yesterday? She looks normal, but... Um, my uniform got dirty, so I had to change out. What... <clears throat> what did you do? I, well... I spilled some soda down the front of it. Uh, that's too bad. Do you need to borrow one? No, it's fine, thanks. Now could be a good opportunity to pry into what happened earlier, too. Akiko might know something about it. She ran into Rika. Rika? Is that the girl from the swim team? Or maybe she doesn't know anything. Yes, that's her. So, what about her? I just, uh, she, um, what do I say? It's kind of a long story, actually. I think the bell will ring soon. Maybe another time. Ah, you're right. <clears throat> I need to head to class. Hopefully I'll see you later. You won't. I'm getting out of here as quick as I can. Bye. Alright. I think we're going to call it there. I think it's been about half an hour-ish. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, guys, um, this visual novel has been interesting. Um, the story could be good. We'll see how it goes. If you guys... Um, are okay with this longer episode format and want to see some more be sure to let me know and uh, hopefully we'll go ahead and continue with some episodes but anyway guys uh, i've been fiddle ferret and i'll see you back on the prowl next time Bye bye